honour. Hmm. It's not really a word that we use often in our day to day, so it might seem a little foreign to our modern brains when we hear someone say the word honour. Perhaps you associate it with getting your honours degree, being told to honour your mother and father faithfully, or maybe it just sounds like a regal word associated with royalty. There's something in that last point, you see. Because deep down, did you know that we are all royalty? Because if Jesus is king, is what we believe, then one day we will all take part in his wondrous honour and glory, just because we're in the family. But most of the time, we just see each other as you and me and don't consider one another as royal beings. Let me ask you a question. If I were to suddenly mention that today we were going to go on some roundup adventure to meet, say, the Queen or any royalty, how would you feel? What would your state of mind be? Would you feel nervous as you are waiting to be seen? Would you be aware of their presence and feel a sense of awe and respect? Perhaps you'd feel a little stunned, well, at least that's what I'd expect. Your attention would surely all be on them, right? Because don't get me wrong, the royal family are a really big deal, you can't deny. But it makes me wonder why. Why do we have this response and act in this way for them? But seeing, say, the guy who let us in at the door, we don't really care. It doesn't quite have the same effect. The more important we view someone to be, the more honour and respect they're likely to receive. Let me say that again. The more important we view someone to be, the more honour and respect they are likely to receive. So here's what I'm saying, basically. What if we saw each human as precious, valuable and so significant that when they come around, your whole attention is firmly found, focused on them? Your desire is to honour and respect them as if they were truly royalty and nothing less. Because when I think of honour, the image that comes to mind is choosing to crown someone with a crown of value every single time, seeing them through heaven's eyes. Placing a crown on their head to mark their importance and worth, even if it's not what they deserve. And so we stick with that image of putting crowns of honour on people's heads, whether that's our colleagues, a stranger, or our families and friends. We must go low, serve humbly, and lift one another up instead. We must humbly take the view off of ourselves and onto the person in front of us. Just like in Philippians 2 verse 3, we must rid ourselves of living selfishly and choose to value and honour one another above ourselves. <laughs> For a culture of honour is in the kingdom's DNA. Just look at Jesus and his ways. He saw the prostitutes, the criminals and the crooks. And when others would cuss and sneer as they looked, Jesus would honour and respect them in any way he could. So as we go about our lives, my challenge for you is to simply try to remember each person's worth. To look on them through the lens of what Jesus has done just for them. To crown them and honour them with our words, attention and time. To go low and serve humbly throughout our life.